welcome back to the essence of moana channel where i do tutorials on digital art graphite drawings and paintings and today as you could see we're painting a christmas cat so let's get started so for the record i would call myself an intermediate painter meaning i paint less than i draw so i draw more than i paint and with that being said a lot of the times i use a lot of my drawing techniques when painting like if you pay close attention i hold my brushes the same as i'll hold a pencil or an ink pen because that's what i know how to do best but i am an artist so with that comes the ability to know how to blend colors and i have been painting for a while so i have a little bit of skill to share So for my brushwork, a lot of it has to do with um, patience, um, actually. When I first started painting, I didn't have a lot of patience because I attacked the canvas the same way I would attack a blank piece of paper with a pencil. Just very rushy and always trying to do things fast. But with paint, it's liquid versus graphite. So you have to be able to slowly build colors and make that color blend perfectly together and it's not going to happen on the first drop of paint that you put on the canvas when bringing something to life through painting it takes a lot of back and forth as you can see here it took me at least 30 minutes to get that eye perfect because I constantly have to add a color, take out a color, add a color, take out a color. Over time, once you start painting for a while, you know, these things get reduced. It takes you less time to do these. But, you know, it's still fun, but it's also time consuming. So painting, it's a lot of going back and forth, just like drawing on a piece of paper. But paint, as I said, is more liquid, so even though you could just erase your uh, problems, you can't really do that with paint. You have to keep applying and applying until the color is completely diluted, or if worst case scenario, you could just use a rag and wipe it off with some water. <laughs> For example, right here, I went in a little bit too dark under the hat area for the cat. So I constantly had to keep applying white colors onto the black color in order to dilute that color. And for the eye as well, I'm constantly reapplying green, browns, and whites in order to bring that eye to life, as you can see right now. The major difference in comparison to the right eye and the left eye. A lot of bending guys and it takes a lot of patience and when you're painting trying to rush through your painting will give you exactly what rushed through your painting looks like an unfinished painting but if you want something on the more realistic side um, and just something more cleaner taking your time will yield you better results and also painting constantly would also yield you better results because we all know practice makes perfect in some way shape or form So right here guys, you're gonna see me going back and forth a lot through uh, detailing the stars that's on the hat area of the cat. And uh, it takes a lot of time actually to perfect this because you're trying to get that 3D look and you're not trying to make it flat. So you have to constantly add in whites, uh, dark areas, and uh, light areas back and forth in order to get that star to pop, right? And also once you're finished with the inner layers of the hat, and these stars you also have to make sure you drop that shadow underneath which you're gonna see later on in this video right now I'm just adding the curves in the hat and I'm trying my best not to make it look 100% flat I'm trying to give it at least a little 3d look so it looks uh, a little bit fluffy and not just uh, solid uh, shadows in the hat uh, over time you're going to see in the video that this is going to shape out to be really good looking as you can see right now so until that i'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the video minus my commentary shortly <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.